Hello everyone, I am the one and only Boiler and I welcome you to day 4 of Vintage Story. Yeah, so after a busy day and a busy night we are all set to start our charcoal production and to go out and maybe do some hunting and uh, find some copper and then we'll be, we'll be ready for our first metal tools, for our copper tools and copper weapons, which will greatly increase productivity and uh, protection. So yeah, I hope we can get this done today. Um, and yeah, we'll start as soon as these drifters uh, disappear out there. Um, so I want to go into uh, charcoal production and we'll, we'll, we'll do this right here as soon as we can get out of the cave. And actually, where is my where is my grass? I need my grass. Uh, it's not there. It's, uh, it's there. So we'll need my grass. I need my grass. Uh, yeah, go up there. And we'll get all the firewood. We will get all the firewood because we need this for um, for our charcoal pit. Um, we'll get this up here. We'll need a fire starter. Yeah, so we'll have a fire starter here. And what else do we need? Uh, we need some food, <laughs> actually. Um, and I wanted to make another piece of uh, of armor because our armor is almost through. Uh, where's our knife? It's here. So we have another piece of armor. Just in case um, we'll need it. We don't need the... Uh, we don't have to spend time crafting it. And there's another one of these guys. Really? It's day. The sun is shining. Please go back to the hole from, from whence you came. Ah, Jesus Christ. Um... No, we'll not get him. <laughs> we do not get him. Uh, he's too far away. So um, let's let's just leave it. So we'll go. We'll go out. Uh, we will go out here, and uh, hopefully we will survive. Where are these damn drifts? There is the other one that we uh, attacked. Maybe we can we can kill him. Nope. Yeah, he's dead. And hopefully he has something on him. No, he doesn't have anything. So uh, there's not one over there. Can we get him before he despawns or anything? Um... Yeah. Kill another one of these guys and then we'll go look for food. So uh, yeah, we'll, we really need food. We really need food, desperately. Um, let me just heal up quickly, just in case someone attacks us. And we will get up here if we if we can. Which I'm not sure about. <laughs> um, no, we cannot get up here. Um, so uh, I will run around the other side and we'll see if we can get some... Uh, if we can find some food. We really need some food and quick. Um, yeah, there should be some bushes over here, I hope. There are bushes. Uh, do they have berries on them? Yeah, they have. So, eat these and quickly. So, uh, yeah, I really, I really think we should go into uh, hunting today, um, if we find time to do so. So, let's get up here. I wanted to show you this uh, for a long time now, because uh, I think this would also be a really great location for uh, for a base here. So, we, uh, in the last episode, I showed you two locations I think could uh, would make nice uh, nice base. But actually, the first one I spotted, and the one I'm still most in love with, is, uh, is actually here. Uh, what's this? Uh, growing, growing parsnips, so we'll leave them. Um, yeah, uh, as you can see, our little bunker is down there. And I really think, I really think I almost died. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, that wasn't the plan. Definitely wasn't the plan, but um, yeah. Things like this can happen if you're not careful. Uh, and I'm actually fully healed, so I don't know why I'm using more bandages. So let's get back up and try this again.
let's get back up here and then we'll need to start our charcoal production um yeah uh, where am i yeah so let's go back so i really think uh what's that mature rye so we can get some rye up here uh, i really think this will be uh, and let's be careful this time this will be a fantastic location i mean look at that look at that inlet here so we uh, we could make we could chisel our base into this plateau here uh, and we could have like uh, a little lake there and could uh, put up some farming and some trees make a, a nice little garden here we could uh, build a wall to this hill and then another wall over there and a little watchtower on top of there this would be an absolute fantastic location and I could also we could also build some watchtowers on top of here I mean look look at this uh, look at this I mean this is great if we if we go all the way to here we can see it's uh, yeah it goes down on this side and then um, on the other side as well and, and this would be an ideal location for like a watchtower or something like that and you have a, a fantastic view here just look at that look look at this view look at how beautiful at how beautiful this this world is i mean it's just absolutely breathtaking if you ask me and i would really like to have our base here there's just one little problem and that's the temporal instability as you can see our gear is still turning counterclockwise which means we are losing temporal stability as long as we are in this area and it's just all around this plateau actually so it's it's really yeah it's not ideal but on the other hand uh, it really turns slowly so uh, as long as we spend the day away from our base uh, hunting for uh, for uh, supplies and uh, and foraging and and looking for materials we should be fine and what's what's also cool what's also really cool is there's a ravine back here so there is the uh, the inlet over there and here on the back of the uh, plateau there is this ravine and it has a little lake down there and it goes it goes below uh, and comes uh, comes out on, on the other side here so this is really fantastic i mean this is like this ravine with with a lake in it and it's, it's just it's just absolutely beautiful and then there is a second little plateau on top of the other one just there can you see this I mean, this is absolutely beautiful. You have this plateau, you have the ravine, then you have a second plateau on top of it. It's just... I couldn't make this stuff up if I wanted to. I mean, this is really... This is world generation at its best. I mean, this is really fantastic. This is why I wanted to play this map, because it's just absolutely gorgeous. It, it, I mean, and on the other side, if, if we look down here, this, this view is just, it's just fantastic. We have the desert over here and then back here we have um we have just more beautiful landscape as you can see there and can we get over there let me just go there i, I know I waste i'm wasting a lot of time here but um i really have to show this to you guys it's it's absolutely gorgeous so we are now all the way around the uh, plateau on the other side um and the other two locations i showed to you were uh, over there somewhere so uh yeah, uh, they are also beautiful, but look at this view. Just look at this view. It's just absolutely gorgeous beyond belief. I just... Jesus Christ, if, if this were the real world, I, I, I would I would definitely uh, sell everything I have and move here. <laughs> it's definitely... I, I, I would want to live here. I really would want to live here. It's just so gorgeous. Just so beautiful. Absolutely fantastic. Just look at this. Look at this view yeah so uh, enough sightseeing we, we really need to get going with our charcoal production so and i see there are a lot of berries over here so we'll get them real quick um because we need food <clears throat> we really need food let me just have a look if there are more berries up here uh, if so we'll get them if not we'll we'll go down i don't see any more berries so uh, we'll go we'll go down uh, somewhere where we will not die ideally so there are some more berries here so yeah we'll get these and we will go and make some charcoal so uh don't get hurt don't get hurt don't get hurt just get down yeah um berries no berries we were already uh, we have already picked these so there is a 
there is a hair. Can we? No, it's it's. Oh, uh, uh this will attack us, so we'll not. Actually, we we could. Let me just have a look. Could we risk it? Could we could we risk it? Should we risk it? <laughs> yeah, we, we we do risk it. <laughs> oh, well, it's still coming. The question is. No, it's no longer coming. Yeah, it's still coming. Uh, we'll get into the water. Because in the water, animals are really slow. So, um, we should be able to kill it right? once it's in the water. Yeah. Ah, shit. Let's get it. Where is it? No. Let's get this pick. Let's get this pick. Where is it? Jesus Christ. Oh, there is his friend. Oh, not good. Not good. Not good. We don't want his friend. Just want him. Ah, we need that pick. It would solve our food problems. Yeah. Where is it? Ah! Jesus Christ, these, these things are fast. Uh, where are you? You are there. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no. Uh, wrong button. And we have it. 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 No, we have it not. Um. Yeah! Jesus Christ! These things are fast and tough. Let me throw that spear. Oh. Uh, wh what the hell? Where is it? Where did it go? Here is it. Ah, Jesus Christ. I'm not good at throwing spears. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, we have it. Jesus Christ. So, um, let me see what it has. So we do have, um, let me just put our armor on, because our armor uh, is dead. And then we'll need this. And we will definitely need this. And let me just... Uh, let me just heal up pretty quickly. And then we can also get the, uh, the bones. Yeah, so... Uh, where is our base? We we hunted that pick uh, halfway across the uh, the landscape. Um, where is our? So we'll eat these berries. Um, yeah. Ah. So we have a bunch of meat that we can cook, uh, which is really helpful. But it did cost us. I mean, we, we lost our armor. We had to replace that. And uh, yeah, we, we lost a, quite a bunch of time. And yeah, we lost the spear. And yeah, whatever. So uh, yeah, hunting is kind of quite costly with these primitive tools. So I really hope we get uh, copper fast. Yeah, there is our base. Or, well, our temporary base. I mean, uh, I really hope we can build something much more uh, nice than over here. And there's a rooster. Can we... Uh, can we kill this? Can we kill this rooster? Or is it a hen? No, it's a rooster. <laughs> yep, we have hit it. Ah, where are you? Yeah, it's not pretty fast. So we should be able to kill it. Oh, but it's tough, I mean, Jesus Christ, it's just a rooster. Um, where are you? Oh, can't I? Why is this grass here in the way? So I want to, yeah, the rooster. So what do we, what do you give me? Um, so, uh, raw poultry, which is great, I think. And feathers. Uh, now we have a problem. <laughs> No, we have a problem. Um, wait, you know what? Let's get rid of this knife. We have. Uh, it's almost through, so uh, let's get rid of it. So uh, we really need to get going with our charcoal pit. Um, 
so where do we want to make this how much can we put in there we can make it have we seven yeah definitely we have seven so that should be all right so we'll make we'll make seven um there's already uh like a pit here and the problem is we now need free inventory space and we need dirt uh, so let me go back here and put some stuff away so the feathers can go in here and the meat actually let me put away the meat we'll cook that later let me put it in here it stays fresh longer and also let me put the uh the fat in here so we'll have enough inventory space and did i get the dirt no i didn't get the dirt of course um so yeah um charcoal pit charcoal pit so i don't really care much about the grass right now because um yeah we don't we don't really have a knife to harvest it so um if i want to make uh seven we have actually we would have eight but um you know what i will just put this down and then we'll uh, worry about how big it will be later so um so how you make how do you make charcoal you make it like this you um dig out a hole in the ground and actually uh, this would be more efficient if i would take several stacks down here instead of just the one so uh you you then um yeah, you then just stack your uh, firewood in the pit, like this. So, and another one here. And this is actually how, how you make charcoal if you don't have uh, machinery and stuff. You just, uh, you just cover a lot of firewood with, uh, with dirt. And then you ignite the stuff and uh, just let it simmer for uh, for like a day or so, and then you have you have your charcoal. Um, do we want to make more? Actually, you could. Let me just get that down. So um, and then uh, I really would like to make nine of these, and we have only eight at the moment. Um, I need to get I need to get some more wood. I need to get some more wood. Do we have time for this? Let me just uh, put that dirt here, here, and here. And oh, we need we need more dirt. Let me just get some more blocks from here. So, and we need some more uh, wood. So we'll just go and look for more for more wood. Uh, do we have an axe? Yeah, we have an axe. Uh, we also need some more berries. So. Uh, Oh, there aren't any trees over here, are there? Yeah, there are trees. I think there should be trees somewhere around here. So I really want to make a nine, uh, nine blocks of of charcoal, if possible. Um, I don't know about trees. There's just a lot of shrubs over here. Ah, Jesus. Uh, where do we have trees? Ah, shit. Shit. This is definitely the wrong direction for trees. I, uh, I realized that. <laughs> Um, we don't need much. We need one large tree, and then we can uh, we can finish our little fire uh, charcoal pit there. Um, trees, 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 trees. Let me get just right ahead. I would say just right ahead. Uh, it, I think we were we didn't look at this area uh, over there, so we should be able to find. Um, well, we should. And there is some clay we can get. Um, we should be able to find berries as well, yeah, which is great, so we'll eat these um, before we can cook up our meat, huh? yeah, we should be finding some berries and then there is wood and yeah, there's everything we need in that direction, so that's, that's great actually. Do we find some flint as well? Yeah, uh, because we don't really have much flint left and we'll need a bunch um come night um and there is more berries it's great eat these and harvest these and eat and harvest and eat yeah so we have berries there are more berries here yeah it's great so uh 
we'll have enough food until we can cook up our meat so but we really need a tree to cut down and i don't want to cut down the beautiful trees you know that you know that i don't want to cut down the beautiful trees and we don't have a knife and there are mushrooms here oh jesus christ um so uh well this one we can this one can go definitely so we had eight stacks of wood so uh, we definitely need more than this one um what do we have down here um are there any of these ugly trees here yeah there is one so we'll cut that down and that should be enough or not um yeah if i would have one one more that would be really nice one more would be really nice just let's have yeah there is one so we'll cut that one we'll cut down that one as well so let me get that and uh, then we'll go back to our uh, to our base yeah come yep so yeah that should be enough that should be enough so let's get back before uh, before night falls let's get back before quartz bits yeah definitely i will take take you with me um so i have some frame rate drops i just hope they are not too severe um then we have some loose flint here and this is not loose flint so um yeah let's go back let's go back was that flint i don't know so um let's go actually let's take this route on the other side of the uh, of this little lake here so because we might find some more berries over here ah, might but uh yeah probably not probably yeah there are some berries here so let's get rid of this quartz and eat these berries yeah do we have a shovel yeah we have a shovel because i uh because i saw some um some clay over there so we could uh we could get some more clay what's that that's a uh, blue clay yeah we'll definitely get some of that we will definitely get some of that as well um so let's gather this up and go back to our uh, base so we have seven flint that should be enough uh there is some copper here there's actually some copper here and we'll take this flint as well so uh let's let's remember that there's copper down there by the uh, by the lake and we can really use that granite stone so it's getting dark we really need to get back to our uh, to our pit um so where is it where was it back here it was back here what's that granite stone so uh let me just cut down this wood um where's our axe our axe is here let me cut this stone yeah we have another stack that's that's great we have some left here uh which we do need um, and let's let's put that in there so um, then then we have so this is my phone uh, sorry for that um, then we have what do we need we need a fire starter we have so we need to uh, put down a fire so let me just do this really quickly um actually no no um jesus christ how do i get rid of it yeah nah. so we have some grass on the ground we need more firewood to build a fire and it's getting dark oh jesus christ let's get this away so then we need to cover this um why doesn't this work no why doesn't this work let me just have a look so we need to cover this in dirt so and we need to ignite it um let me get 
Hey, we have a fire starter. What do I want to do? So, um... Let me ignite it. Charcoal pit. Yeah, it takes a while. Come on! It's getting dark. I need to get inside. Jesus Christ. What's the matter here? Oh, um, I need to cover it up. So it burns now. So... So, um, that's basically it. So, you um, dig a hole, you throw a bunch of firewood in it, you cover it up in the entirely, and then you put a fire on it, light it, and then you put some more dirt on it. So, it will now simmer until you have a, well, you have a whole, ho a whole lot of uh, charcoal in this pit. Um, you can tell that it is done by uh, there being no more smoke coming uh, from the top of it so it takes quite a while so we'll just we'll just leave it uh we'll just leave it to its devices and go back into our um little cave here so that's that yeah charcoal pit i'm really happy we <laughs> we were able to do that uh, today so let's just sort through our inventory so we have some quartz here uh, we'll put that in there uh, we have a hide we'll put that there actually where is our uh, where's our fat so we can make a um oiled hide and we'll put that away so this will now take some time to uh, to cure and then we'll have a oiled hide which uh, we can then craft into some things um then we have so we'll take this one out and then we have some bones. Uh, we'll put this there. Actually, we'll put this there as well. No, I will. Yeah, we'll need to make more storage. Uh, I actually will take these saplings with me because we uh, we can we can use these to. Where did I get that? We can then use these uh, use these to uh, make more trees. So uh, we have our um, hay. And yeah, our fire starter we don't need at the moment. We'll put that there. Uh, where where is our clay? We have more clay. We take that. Um, then we wanted to cook our meat, so we'll, uh, we'll do that. So that's basically it. Um, yeah. Where's our fire? As our fire, we'll put the meat on the fire, and we'll put some firewood in there, and then we'll light the fire. Where is the torch there? So let's light this fire. Let me carve this one up. It doesn't have anything. Then we'll carve this one up. Doesn't have anything. Yeah. Okay. That was a waste of time. Um, any more? Not at the moment, it seems. Uh, yeah, our uh, our food bar is blinking, so we probably should get some meat here. Um, let's eat that, and as you can see, it fills up faster, much faster than with berries, obviously. And we'll also need to have a look at our firewood. So we have two more, and we also have some poultry we could uh, cook later. So we'll just prepare that. So we are ready when uh, when we have cooked up all the meat. <clears throat> yeah, there are more drifters out there somewhere. How is our meat doing? So the last one is uh, is coming, and in the meantime, we'll just kill some more drifters. <laughs> would be cool if we could uh, put them on the fire. Roasted drifter. How how would that taste like? I don't know. I actually don't want to know. Um, yeah, so let's open up our inventory and then put in the poultry. Uh, we, we can't. Oh, uh, because we need to take this out first. Yeah, now we can. Um, put this there and yeah. How is our armor doing actually? Our armor is doing fine. It seems that we weren't hit by anything since we put on the, the new armor. So uh, that's great. Yeah. Well, 
I'm really cool. I'm, I'm really looking forward to uh, to real armor, <laughs> not this uh, makeshift uh, wooden stuff. So uh, we have quite a bit of grass in uh, inside our uh, our little bunker here. So we'll cut that up and wait for more drifters. How's our uh, cooked poultry doing? How does that compare to um, cooked red meat? So uh, 200 satura saturation. 280 saturation. So the uh, the cooked red meat is better than the cooked uh, poultry, but the cooked poultry uh, lasts longer. Interesting. Uh, so any more drifters? And oh well, oh, oh, our uh, temporal stability gets really low. So we really need to get away from our base for uh, for a while uh, next day. So um, yeah. <laughs> so otherwise, we'll we'll uh, we'll. Uh, bad things will will happen here, and we don't want that, don't we? Uh, how about the poultry? Yeah, it's coming along. Because I don't want to waste any firewood. I mean, uh, in Minecraft, wood is cheap, but um, here I feel like I don't want to waste any wood if, if if it's not absolutely necessary. So um, yeah. <laughs> But maybe that's just me because I don't want to cut down all the beautiful trees. And there is a drifter that we need to kill. And we need to kill it fast or it gets away and we don't want that. Our spear is dead. Um, do we have any? No, we don't. Um, Jesus Christ. Can we get close enough? Yeah. As long as you don't get attacked. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's that. Uh, let me just put down our firewood. Yep, yeah. and then we'll kill that drifter here as well. Where is it? <laughs> ah, it's getting away. No, it's coming back. Ah, it's getting away. There is one. And, yeah, yeah, yeah lie down, buddy. Stay there. Die. Yeah, and he's dead. I don't know. Sometimes I, I almost feel sorry for the guys. I mean, they they seem... Yeah, I mean, they, they try to flee if, if they are near death. And this one just uh, huddled down and like, please don't hurt me again. I don't know. I mean... I don't know if they are evil or if they are just um, following their instincts. I don't know. I mean, it's not zombies. They are called drifters and I don't really know what the uh, lore behind them is. I didn't discover any lore so far in the game, but uh, apparently there is. If you if you um, find ruins and dungeons and stuff, there should be bits of lore there that you can, that you can learn, apparently. I didn't really find anything myself, uh, but I also didn't really look for it then so um yeah i don't know uh, what what we might find so let me just make um a another storage vessel uh, while we are waiting for more drifters yeah and yeah and yeah i will make some <laughs> make some pottery here which is fun no actually um while i do appreciate the concept behind all this and i actually I don't. I, I would not say I dislike it, but um, it can get a little bit tedious. It it really can get a little bit tedious crafting all these vessels by hand. Now, of course, um, this is a one-time thing. So once you have this vessel, you you uh, you have it. Uh, you don't need to uh, to redo it. So uh, it's. I guess it's okay. I guess it's okay. I mean, the tools and weapons you have to redo over and over again, but. They are not as time consuming as these pottery things here. So um, yeah, I guess it's alright. So the things that you can keep take a little bit longer. While the things that are basically um, perishable or uh, or destructible. Uh, yeah, they um, they uh, take not quite as long to make. So I think it's okay. But still, it's uh, if you're not used to it, it takes some getting used to <laughs> But it's a cool idea. I, I really, I really like it. I really like it. Although uh, I find it a bit tedious at the same, at the same time. So I'm a, I'm a little, little bit torn here. Uh, and another one, actually. So and then the next one will be smaller, and we have to go back to this. Um, yeah, and there are more drifters. The cool thing is you don't have to finish this. You can basically 
let me just finish this row. So, let me finish this row, and then you can basically take out your spear, go kill some drifters, and uh, come, ah, come back to it later. No. Bad drifter. Bad drifter. Die. Bad drifter. Yeah, and he's dead. So, let me carve him up and see what he got. No, what he has. He has nothing. And there's another one. It's a good thing we made four spears. Um, because we already used up one. And the other one is uh, almost gone as well. So all you need to do is uh, basically go back. And have clay in hand. And it will show up again. So you can get away from your uh, project. And come back later. Now one thing where you probably can't do that is with molten uh, metal stuff so if you oh if you need to uh to smiths uh, if you if you're working on the smithy or if you're trying to uh to uh cast something with molten metal um uh, what the hell am i doing um then you probably should uh, work the metal while it's hot because you see if you melt metal or uh, heat it on a furnace um, it um, it gets hot, it, it melts or it get, gets hot and then once you take it off the fire or out of the furnace it will start to cool again which which means if you don't uh, work it while it's cool it will... oh actually this gets another color no that's cool yeah let me just finish that uh, that uh, sentence about uh, about metal working so it will start to cool and once it, uh, it reaches a certain temperature once it gets once it gets cool enough you probably can no longer uh, work it so um, yeah you need to, to work the metal while it is hot so I didn't do any metal working myself in this game so far so I'm really curious about all of it once we get there but I have seen a lot of metal working in uh, let's play videos so I I do have an idea how it works so and what the mechanics are behind it and uh, I think um, from what I have seen it's really uh, necessary to work the metal while it is still hot enough to actually be worked so but with the pottery and stuff like that uh, you can come back to it whenever you want you can leave it you can leave it in the morning and go out the whole day um, Gathering supplies, hunting animals, whatever, and you can come back in the evening and continue uh, on your uh, pottery projects. It should be perfectly possible. So we'll eat that meat. Yep, and we'll still have two meat and three poultry, so we are still uh, doing all right. So we'll need to do another pottery project. We'll need a crucible, a raw crucible. The crucible is needed for. Um, oh, uh. The cru nah, the crucible is needed. So let me just select the right uh, mode here. The crucible is needed for uh, uh, smelting copper. So uh, we'll put the raw copper into the crucible, put the crucible onto the fire, and then uh, it will melt the copper inside. And then we can cast the uh, molten copper from the crucible into into a uh, mold which we will also make now of course that doesn't work uh ah, jesus christ um yeah as i said it's a little bit a little bit tedious just a little little bit a little tiny bit so we have a crucible uh let me put pick that up um like that put it in the fire we'll um uh yeah we'll burn it later it's just a uh, whole uh just make it um, then we will make a mold. Now uh, we want to make a pickaxe. Now if you want to make a pickaxe you have to cast it. And uh, to be able to cast it you make uh, you have to make a mold. In which to cast it like this. So it's quite an involved process. First you need to find the ore. Then you need to... Uh... Yeah, you know what I will just fill that up. Uh, you first need to find the ore, then you need to process the ore to actually get the uh, ingots out of it. Uh, the metal that you can then use. And uh, once you have done that, uh, you need to uh, melt the metal in the crucible. And then you need to pour the uh, molten metal into a mold. And then you need 
the mold uh, you need to uh, cool uh, let the mold cool and once you have done that um, you can then get out your pickaxe or whatever you have made so let me just uh, put that there. It's not fired. It's raw. Uh, we'll, we'll fire it later. And there is a drifter. And hopefully, oh, um, we'll get something um, valuable from him, and or from from his friend there. Yeah, die, die, die. Yeah, and he's dead. And can we get him before we get attacked? Mm, yeah, we can. So uh, he didn't have anything. Um, then what do we want as well? We want a. Um, yeah, we really need to uh, have uh, uh, keep an eye on our temporal stability there. I want a raw pickaxe, long blade, axe. We want to make an axe. Uh, for that, we also need another mold, of course. We'll need. We'll make a whole bunch of molds here until uh, the next day, and yeah, so that we are ready once we find our uh, copper. Oh, we don't have any more. Uh, let me just pick that up. So, yeah, we should have enough, and yeah, um, that's a problem. So, as you see, if you uh, you don't have to be precise with this if you uh, if you uh, have a few bits too uh, too much you can just uh, chisel them out again and uh, yeah then you have your mold uh, which we can pick up again and put down uh, where do we have it where the hell do we have it oh we have it there so we can put it there and the third thing I want to do is um, a long blade, long blade, which is basically a sword. It's basically a sword. So we'll have a, a short range weapon at our disposal, not just the uh, spears. So, uh, yeah. So this is quite a bit of work, as you can see. So it's really not a, not not a game for someone who wants to progress as fast as possible because that's simply not uh, possible in this game you you really need to take your uh, time here so where do i want to pick uh, put this um can we we can put it up here so we need we need to fire all this so we need to get some uh, some wood um uh what else uh, do we need uh hoe hammer axe shovel hammer we need a hammer yeah um Jesus Christ! It is quite a bit of work, and it's getting it's getting it's getting dawn. Um, we we'll might we might make the rest of it uh, the next night. Probably don't have enough time for all of it, uh, and yeah, we'll probably not find enough copper for all of it as well. That uh, might be difficult to achieve. So we'll just yeah, and then chisel it. Oh, chisel it back out uh, everything that's too much here yeah and we have another one um, put the uh, pick that up and put it somewhere like uh, like there so yeah drifter attack so last night we got quite a few uh, flag strings and we got a uh, temporal gear and this night so far we haven't found anything on these drifters um, yeah, whatever. So, uh, let me just have a quick look. Um, is the spearhead axe mold, hammer mold, health, whatever that is. Um, hoe, uh, lamel, lamel armor, yeah, we can make that. It's not the most important thing. Prospecting, yeah. We could make a shovel, but really, no, it's, it's okay. Can we pick that back up? Yeah, we can pick that back up so um yeah so it's uh, already dawn on the uh th that should be the fifth day i will make a cut here call uh, call it a day uh, this is the uh, end of this episode 
Uh, it has been quite a productive one. We uh, prepared our charcoal pit and it's uh, burning away over there. So uh, we should be able to harvest that, uh, well, I think, uh, think before nightfall it should be done and we can then harvest it. And um, yeah, we got a bunch of clay and uh, prepared our molds and made another storage vessel and prepared our crucible. So, so we are quite ready to uh, start metal production. So to do that, of course, we'll first need to find some metal. So uh, this day will be focused on finding copper and yeah, finding some more food as well, but mainly, uh, mainly copper. So we can start making uh, making our metal tools and metal weapons, uh, which will greatly enhance our um, ability to su to to survive, um, and hopefully also free up some time for other stuff once we get these more effective and more deadly tools on our hands. So uh, I hope you I hope you liked this episode. If you did, please leave a like below. And I will see you next time. Until then, stay health, stay healthy, stay safe, and have a good time. Bye.